All right, so why don't you tell us um, who you are and what you do? My name is Mandy Chapman, and I am the executive assistant to the CEO here at NVRH. Awesome. So what kinds of qualifications do you think are needed for this job? Um, good coordination skills, managing of schedules, multitasking, uh, basic administrative uh, tasks, filing, um, drafting of template letters, uh, stuff like that. Awesome. So describe your journey leading to the job you have today. Okay. So um, I actually was born and raised here. Uh, I went off to UVM for college, ended up coming back because this is where I wanted to raise my family. Um, my whole life I've really been interested in doing something that gives back to the community, especially since I grew up here and my family's here. Um, that's always been really important to me in a career. And um, so I spent the last six years at a nonprofit housing organization that served low income Vermonters, especially, uh, specifically in the Northeast Kingdom. Um, and really what led me here was in that position, I worked closely with senior leadership as well as our current CEO. And I just really discovered that if you really want to make a big impact in the community here, uh, Northeastern Vermont Regional Hospital is the place to do that. Um, and I felt very aligned with the missions and the values of the company. And so I am here. Awesome. Um, what inspired you to pursue this kind of career? I guess really looking back on this is the community that raised me. Um, so again, moving with that, always having the goal of doing something and, f and following some sort of career path that allowed me to give back to the community and the people of the Northeast Kingdom. What tasks or duties do you perform during your job? Uh, daily tasks and duties of, involve um, coordinating and keeping track of the CEO schedule along with the eight other senior leadership members, uh, coordinating different meetings for them, also being the liaison and managing the board of trustees. So we have a 25 member board that oversees uh, the leadership here at the hospital. Um, and through that, I am also responsible for taking minutes for the board meetings as well as the five standing committee meetings that happen each month, uh, tracking those, storing those, keeping those organized for the hospital. Um, what's the most challenging part of your job? The most challenging part of my job is probably trying to organize anything with the medical staff. Uh, the providers have very challenging schedules. Um, so when I'm asked to bring three or four of them together along with senior leadership team, uh, that can be a bit tricky. And what do you like most about your job? What do I like most about my job? Um, I think it would be the interaction, being able to really connect with all aspects and levels of employees and different departments here at the hospital to really see and learn what they do uh, and just have that opportunity and to be a part of organizing it at the administrative level. And what advice do you have for students who might be interested in pursuing this type of career? Uh, English classes are important. Um, it's very important to have good grammar, so don't give up on those English classes and keep pursuing them. Some sort of higher level um, master's in business or some sort of business accounting degree, those things will really help you. Um, and I would say don't give up on healthcare, uh, even if you think you can't be a doctor or a nurse, because I always was under the impression that I couldn't do healthcare, it wasn't for me because I couldn't be clinical. And this has probably been the best experience of my life, and I'm so glad that I was able to find a spot within healthcare. And there's a place for everybody.